Welcome back everyone to our first example video on integration by parts. Hopefully you checked out our video on how to choose U using Lipit with integration by parts. So here we'll go through that. Notice uh, this is an example from our video. I have X and sine X and X is a polynomial and sine X is a trig function. And so if I look over here, I have a polynomial and a trig function and the polynomial comes first before the trig in Lipit. So that will be U and my trig function will then be DV. Okay, so if we go ahead and write down what everything is going to be, our u is going to be x in this case, our dv is going to be sine x dx, remember that dx always goes with dv to start, derivative of u will be du, so the derivative of x is 1 dx or just dx, and then we integrate dv, so the antiderivative of sine x is negative cosine x, and now we use our formula uv minus integral v du. So we'll go ahead and say that this integral is equal to u times v, which would be negative x times cosine x minus the integral of v du. So minus, notice v du is negative, so minus a negative, I would go ahead and say plus there, and we would have cosine x dx. Again, bumping the negative out from v du joining with the minus to make this a plus. Okay, we go and do that simple antiderivative now. Antiderivative of cosine x, we should know from definition is just sine of x. Okay, that's our first example video for integration by parts. Get more practice, check out our next video. We'll see you in the next one.